<clears throat> but I will have to make sure that I put my um, my bales that I've left in the sheep field, the grass bales, I'd better put them under cover because they'll wither they'll wither away, won't they? So yeah, I've got lots of bales to move. Right, so which field should we do first? Uh Hmm. We'll do the soybean field. We'll do that field there first. And then we'll do the canola field. As long as I get the uh, the canola and the soybeans harvested, I, I'm not really that fussed about the rest of it. Because I mean, it's only it's only wheat and barley anyway. Uh, are they grass bells? Yeah, they will. Uh, they they are grass bells. They they will rot away. I, I do know that. I mean, I've I, I have used seasons before, but um. I haven't pl I haven't played it uh, for quite a while because when I'm streaming it, just sometimes I find that there's not a lot to do. Uh, where am I going? Uh, I don't know. Where am I going? Yeah, this one. But I'm, I might use a, a six day season. Might use six day season. And as I'm ploughing some of the smaller fields into bigger fields, that might be okay. It's this way. Well, yeah, they need vacation. This is true. This is true. Do you um, use precision farming with uh, seasons or just seasons by itself? You use that as well, and do they work well together? Yeah, right. Where can I put this head out? Uh, was issues from the start, not anymore. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, stuff. And if I bring that up there. And when I bring the harvester in, just reverse back. That's it. That'll do. See, we've got this field there. See, it need this, the, all these fields need ploughing anyway, I think. And we've got soybeans there. 
Oh no, this one don't need blowing. But this one, this is all ready to harvest. I mean, like I say, I'm not really that fussed if I don't get it all in um, before I swap over. Because I know what will happen. It, what, if, I, if I leave it and say, oh yeah, I'll do it after I've done the harvest and whatever, then I'll probably not do it. Do you know what I mean? So... It's better, it, it's better just to do it and then say, well, just take the hit. Do you know what I mean? Take the hit on the crop. No more space for what? Oh, okay. You better get over there and uh, see what see what's occurring. Is there a Land Rover? Uh, oh, right there. It will regrow. Ooh, what were we talking about? What will regrow? I don't remember what we were talking about. <laughs> it's alright, because it, everything it threw me because of uh, having to get into the uh, into the pickup. All the crops will regrow. Oh, so they they're not like completely wiped out. They'll still be there. I remember in 17 there was a um, a Land Rover mod. I don't know if it's uh, if it's in 19. I haven't seen it, but it'd be nice for this map, I think. Uh, it will it will be gone, but you can. Oh, right, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you meant it would regrow um, it by itself. Oh, wait there, I've missed a turn. Uh, King, Mo uh, King Mods have a nice Land Rover. Oh, okay, okay. Talking of which, I'd better give the, the sheepy some water. Oh, ah, they're full. See, we've got two pallets down here already.
Hey, there was two bat there was two bales there before. Where's the other one gone? There was just two there, weren't there? Oh, it's it, yeah, it's it. Wally, it's behind it. I thought somebody had nicked it. <laughs> but I thought they were next to each other before. See, I'm making it look like I actually know what I'm doing, don't I? But I don't. sheep do I have? Uh, If I could put it to three high, will it go three high? No, I can't see from there. some degrees of the floor yeah it, it is it is handy but she you know that all you have to do is have it like uh, 0 0.3 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 off the floor like there I've got it 0 0.3 and that should be able to pick up that uh, that pallet
don't look very safe, does he? <laughs> but it'll do. See, I only got all them um, pallets of wool then because uh, I fast forwarded through the night. So it was it it was a whole twenty four hours. So uh, now I'll I'll try to stay very clear of them. What map is it that you play on, Kurt? Sandy Bang, 700 hours into it. Yeah, I, I played that for a while. It was my favorite map on 15 and 17. And it was on 19 as well for a while until other ones came out. And, you know, it's just, it's just, too hard to choose now <laughs> it's too hard to choose a, a favorite map no oh, I can't see can't see It's actually a good job I didn't sell this. I was going to. So how many hours do you reckon in total that you've uh, you've played farm sim 19? Just 19? Seventeen, uh, my seventh year in nine day seasons. Um, old map. Now, so I think it was transferred into another map. Oh, uh, I'll have to choose which one though. Yeah. Well, I um, I went from uh, Sandy Bay. And I think I went to six ashes. Um, and I played that for a while. And then from six ashes, I came onto this one. But I haven't been playing this map for that long. Only a few weeks. Uh, 5,927. Oh, okay. Not bad. Not even sure. Uh, let me see what my Steam says. Let me just have a check.
Uh, see, because before I started the Steam, uh, Steam, playing it on Steam, I um, I played it on the uh, the, Gi the Giants download. Uh, 2,176 hours I've played on the Steam version and it was it was probably more than that on the Giants version because I played most of the time on the Giants version and the only reason I swapped over is because people kept on saying to me uh, oh how many hours have you played this game for and I'm like I don't know because you'd have to go in and add up all your uh, save game totals and I weren't going to do that because I, I had dozens of them. So I decided to go on to the Steam version. Uh, Meadow Grove Extended. Oh, okay. But I mean, if, if I'm honest, I actually prefer the British maps. I mean, that's not, it's not only because I'm British. That's not the only reason I prefer the British maps. But it's, I, I'm not a fan of big open fields uh, and, you know, where there's there's no um there's nothing stopping you from driving all the way across the map straight through the fields because there's nothing there to stop you do you know what i mean that's what i like the hedges around the fields and the walls and that around the fields um yeah i better move this because otherwise tractor uh, the tractor's not going to uh, be able to get through with the trailer okay so i'll leave that there <clears throat> but I mean there are some really nice non-British maps like the one that we, we've started playing on multiplayer now uh, Dress, Dress Turnhoff I think that's how it's pronounced not 100% sure but I think that's how it's pronounced uh, that's, a, that's a nice map <clears throat> well this map uh, Little Norton it's uh, I haven't been like I say I haven't been playing it for too long but I'm absolutely loving it which is why one of the main reasons I want to put seasons on it because I want to see what it's like in seasons Uh, oh, you only play British maps, uh, and you're from Sweden. Okay, okay. Yeah, Lone Oak was good. Uh, but don't play US maps. Oh, okay. Well, when we play multiplayer, I just I just play what the guys decide to play. You know what I mean? I'm happy with a lot of them. I've played some Polish, German style maps though. Yeah, I've pl I've played quite a few, quite a few maps, but it's it's because of the hedges. I actually like the hedges. I mean, people think I'm crazy when I say that. Well, the got the people that I stream with on a Friday, they all think I'm nuts because I love the hedges, and they're they're a lot of them are not too keen on the hedges. But for me, it may, I think it makes a map. I've, I've got a feeling I'm going to get this entire field in here. In this harvest dump. Yeah, exactly. They make it look comfy. It makes it look homely as well. Do you know what I mean? And you, if you see 
um, a map with hedges on, then you know it's a British map for really, it. <laughs> because if you ever go walking around the, the British countryside, that's all you see is hedges everywhere. But I mean, I would like to see the hedges like um, a little more realistic, if you know what I mean. Because, like with that hedge down the bottom of the road, uh, the bottom of this field here. Um, now, that's not like the normal size for a hedge in, in in Britain, really. These size hedges are more. Um, around a garden, do you know what I mean? On somebody's house, you wouldn't see them this size in because um, they're like um, three or four meters high. <clears throat> so it would it would probably be taller than the actual harvester here. Do you see what I mean? So, I mean, they, they look okay, they look good, but just a little bit more realistic. Well, yeah, you, you can trim, you can trim them down, yeah. There's, um, there's actually, um, actually, I think I've got it. There's a mod in uh, mowers, I think. Uh, yeah, this, it's like this type of thing that they use for the hedges. They cut it down with this and they do the front and then they can do the top. <clears throat> But they're, they're only supposed to cut them down at certain times of the year, though, because of um, wildlife living in them and that sort of thing. Yeah, on Sandy Bay, you can put cuttable hedges, yeah. Well, the, um, uh, didn't he change all the hedges to cuttable hedges anyway? Because I know he did some of them, but I thought I, I thought there was another update where he did all of them. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But, um... I don't know if I'd be able to cut any of these hedges on this map. That's something that we could always try. But I don't think so. I think they have to be classified as cuttable hedges, don't they? Nothing called a cuttable, I haven't tried that. Well, I do, I do know that, um, you know, as you're coming out, you come out of the farm and then you turn right as you're going into, towards the shop. Um, you go round and then before you come to the uh, the T junction, there's them. You know where he puts the holes in the winter in the, in the um, um, in the road and the field that floods. Them hedges around them fields are cuttable, I believe. I know though. I, I think those ones are, but I don't know about any of the others. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get all this into the one harvester. Not even going to need to. Uh... 
get the get the trailer or don't oh yeah I am because the other one's canola isn't it the other one's canola well that's no good Oh, don't, don't go down for me then if you don't want to. How many day seasons do you uh, use on Sandy Bay? Because I'm just wondering how many days to use on this. I was thinking six. You do nine. You have nine. Okay. And you say you own all the fields. Do you um? Do you manage to get them all done in time? With nine days, I'll do six days is too short to consider rain and wet crops. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, nine days it will be then. I will do nine days. What was the name of that place you said? King's Mod, uh, King Mods was it, or King's Mods? For the um, Land Rover. to drive for high and get a uh, winter seed harvested and replanted and then the like crops like soil ah oh, okay okay <clears throat> oh wait there that's not the guys that's the guys there it is <laughs> i didn't see that part that little bit of wall there because the uh the thing was in the way, the grass. So do you think a 12 day season might be better? I'm not doing 24. I think 24 is a bit too much. 
Uh, King's Mods. Okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think I've heard of them before. It sounds familiar, so I might, I might have even downloaded stuff from there before. <clears throat> but is the mod itself any good? Or don't you know? If I in nine days is a good balance. Oh, okay. Can I get through there? Oh no, I can't. Pop stock? Oh, is it that one? Because it was um, it was the vir. Uh, where's my field gone? <laughs> it was the virtual farmer one that I used in seventeen. Because he he had his uh, he had his own, didn't he? Well, his own version, should I say? It it was on Facebook. Jackade raided with eight viewers. Thank you and welcome Jackade's viewers. Jacksy, thank you very much for the ride, mate. And welcome to all of Jacksy's viewers. How is everybody doing today? Uh, I heard him mention uh, mention the other day. Yeah, um, that's the one I used to use. His. Um, in 17 it was it was really good in 17 because it had ic control and everything but i haven't i haven't seen but uh, i didn't see whether he's got a version for 19 i haven't seen one but i will definitely have a look how did the stream go mate Me, I'm doing great, mate. Thank you. Well, I've just decided that um, from tomorrow, I'm going to put seasons on this map. I mean, I know it means uh, losing all the crop I have at the minute so that's why i'm just getting the the valuable props in hey drama how you doing mate went well uh bit of ghost hunting after trucking or some hours oh okay okay yeah seasons it really, oh, the, the reason is, I want to see what this map looks like in the winter. Because <laughs> it's a beautiful map. I love this map. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I knew I should have just gone into the road and forgot all about them. Don't worry about the traffic. They'll wait for me.
Hey, slow down, row dog. <clears throat> Yeah, see you later, Curse. You have a great rest of your day, mate. And thanks for all the info. Yeah, because I, I haven't used Seasons in... in what a while ever since I played on Durango and I've been wanting to use it but I think I might have been chickening out of it yeah good night mate um but uh yeah I've decided now that I'll, I want to use seasons on here with pure uh I keep saying pure farming why do I keep saying pure farming um with precision farming just to see how good it is. Well, it does, yeah. Makes it a lot more realistic. Oh, wait there, it needs to change my battery. And yeah, made uh, almost two hundred thousand pounds earlier off the uh, the silage for the VGO, which was great. Which is why I've got two hundred and forty-four thousand pounds in the bank now. I think it was a hundred and ninety six nine hundred and sixty seven pounds or something like that. So uh hundred and ninety six thousand nine hundred and seventy six something like that. Which was nice. Oh Say a little way there into that into that area would be just good. Because, I mean, I don't know how to do farming realistically. Because I've never worked on a farm. I've never even been on a farm. But, I like to try and be as realistic as I can, if that makes any sense. As, re as realistic as I know how to be. So, that's why... Um, I don't skip between vehicles. I, um, I if I have to go like I, when I went to fetch this tractor, I run from one vehicle to the other because you know in real life you wouldn't be able to skip to vehicles, would you? So I try, I try and be as little a, a little realistic if I can. 
<coughs> Doesn't always work out that way though. But I do try. Oh no, it's not in there, is it? That's where the harvester is. Yeah, the first time I went the field I'm going to now, the first time I came up here, I actually went in that drive because I thought it was through, it was past there, past there, and I sort of got stuck. <laughs> I had to go and ask my best mate Clark Kent to come and give me a hand. Ooh, what am I stuck on? Ah, okay. I think it's down in this little row there. There's a uh, that's what I failed it. Yeah, there it is. See, this is classed as my exercise for the day as well. Not really. It would be good if it did. Almost every vehicle I own is at this field now. with that corner the collision of the hedge must be yeah you can see you see the red mark there just sticking out of it oh well I wonder why I got caught on there the first time so we should get all this in uh, in the trailer as well so we've got soybeans canola and we've got uh, sunflowers there but yeah I'm not I'm not doing them today I'm just doing these and that that's gonna be it everything else can get reset with the fit with the fields when I uh, put seasons on
So does anybody else use seasons or precision farming? You do, don't you, Dramatic? Do you use seasons? You don't? Oh, I thought you did. Okay, that's weird. Some just fell over behind me. <laughs> There's a ghost in the machine. Do you use precision farming though, drummer? Well, at least we're getting a good yield off there. I don't know what the soil type is, though. Um... Oh, it's loam, that's why. Okay. I mean, we, we've just, because um, I'm putting seasons on it, just mean that we've wasted um, the seed on some of the fields that we've seeded. Um, and the crop that's in some of the ones that I'm already growing. I mean, it's not really a big deal, is it? Because all the rest of the uh, crops are just... Um, wheat and barley apart from the sunflowers there so it's not that that bad not really hmm. just mean barley and wheat are really not that uh, that valuable are they which is why I'm only doing the soybeans and canola today. So I don't think I've got any other soybean fields. <clears throat> oh, 
I will check before I finish. But I don't think I had. Yeah, probably going to get all this in the harvester as well before it needs emptying, which is good. Still got 25% left. all that lovely green on the field. That's the colour you want to see when you're harvesting. Well, actually, that's not 125, is it? it needs to be darker than that, I think, for 125. Check these other fields. I don't think I've got. Yeah, I don't own that one. Done that one. So you just got wheat in them too. That one has only just been planted, so it's not even. Yeah, see, so it's only still in the first growth stage. So that's what I'm going to lose that because with the seasons, and I'll lose these two, three. So, yeah, not too bad. Oh, it's that one again. <laughs> now the sheds here, we can keep some, some stuff in when we... Uh, expand to this area there's no point leaving equipment up here just for two fields is there really but when we expand uh, did I fold this up? no I didn't Let's get this thing back to the farm. See, I think we can go that way, but I think that's just a long way around. Hmm. Yeah, drive up, drive up the hedges. Why not?
Oh, what? The ball went to go? Uh, nope. And I actually think that there's um, something with the lighting that um, that's different in seasons as well. So it should look different. But we'll have to wait and see. Because like I said, it's been a it's been a while since I've played seasons. Why am I stuck on that gate again? I'm always getting stuck on that gate. Might take it out. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> doesn't really need cleaning. Look, all the equipment's gone. <laughs> it's what stuck in fields all over the place. I need to bring it all back. But, oh, but anyway, that is going to be me for today. Got a bit of stuff done today, um, and yeah, I'm gonna see about installing seasons on this side uh, game for tomorrow. Uh, fingers crossed, all will go well, but who knows? <laughs> who knows what can happen? But um, yeah, just want to say a huge thank you. To everybody for watching uh, you all take care you all enjoy the rest of your day and you all stay safe and I will catch you all on the next one um, bye everybody